We have a mentally challenged and physically handicapped children. Special children. Because in most cases, people with disabilities are disabled and indispensable. And uh, we have Grants. them up from the roads, from the bus stand, mm -hmm. from the railway station, mm -hmm. from the hospitals. We put their children there, from on the roads, on hospitals, on hospital stations, and they all are completely destitute. We need to orphan. They are completely orphaned. Uh, when we meet this, uh, when we come to the earth, uh, each soul, uh, we incarnate in different bodies and we have different destiny. And each destiny is the necessary lesson for our soul. Everything that is happening to us is also a good and very deep lesson. And all these things, uh, for them, uh, as I said, really can become uh, talismans of love, uh, hope, and when you will give these things to children, give it uh, with giving hope for these children for a better life, for a good life. Hello. Hi. Here's the bear for you. Oh. And for you. These children are a result of that sick society in which we live. Society that is sick with egoism, with hate, with indifference, with cruelty. And no political reforms, no wars, no revolutions can change this. The only one thing that we can do to change the society, to heal the society, and to help these children, and many of millions of children like this all over the world, is our spiritual development. When we unite in our so-called healing prayer meditations, when we unite in field of love, when by our own spiritual experience we inspire other people to be more loving, compassion, patient, understanding. It's very hard to imagine how it's possible when the child is born, the parents just throw away the child to the road just because they wanted a boy instead of a girl or just because the girl was with broken hand or, or psychologically diseased. What is happening in minds, in hearts and souls of that people who throw out children to the roads, to the railway stations and forget about them forever? These people are sick. They seek with their soul, and these people will never be happy. How can it be like that? Let's do something with this, because it is our task. It is our society, it is our environment where we live. We created it by our indifference. When we close our eyes and say, this not happens in my life, Look more often at these children, come to these centers, give them presents, give them love, give them toys, and look, these children as a result of your indifference. Maybe indifference of your neighbor, maybe, maybe of something that you never thought about it. Maybe you thought that, okay, my life is joy. Yes, it's joy, but there's always another part. And these children show to us who we are indeed. And we can change, not change, we can heal. We can heal the society, we can heal the environment. Not only by eating ecological products, not only by saving drops of water. The most important, because all of this is a result, the most important is to save our spirituality, our pure souls, pure conscious and our pure hearts in front of the universe, in front of the humanity. Each one of us is responsible for this environment. 
Each one of us is responsible for everything that is happening. Let's unite. Let's unite in our circle healing prayer meditations. Let's unite in creating field of love here and now in your family, with your friends, with all people who can you invite, sit in the circle, take your hands and start to open your heart and send this good energy, this good vibration to all people who need. And what will happen next? Next will be that you will not be able to act in negative and everybody who is around you will also start acting positive and the society will be healed. The good time is coming, but it will come because of our efforts, our good things that we do to this world. Let's do it together. I believe that we are responsible for this world and I believe that we can make this world paradise. We can heal ourselves and all the environment.